Thank you to Waterwheel Little Horse for their generous donation on Patreon. If you'd like to join them in their generosity, the link to my Patreon page is in the description. Hello everyone! My name is Decalink, the trained unprofessional, and welcome back to Tennis Ace! On the last episode, we talked to Saya the way we should have in the first place, apparently. Uh, even if it didn't make obvious sense to me at the time. Uh, people have explained how it's supposed to be obvious and was to them, so thanks for that. But uh, now, uh, we have gotten to the point where uh, where we were before, where we were put in the very uncomfortable position and we didn't say no this time. We are! I already, in the last episode, saw where the, the words echoed in our minds, and uh, we have seemingly... Yeah, we, we pushed him back. And so now we're going to see the fallout of that. And hopefully it's the conversation, but we, we will see. Hopefully it goes well. Before I even catch into what I'm doing, I've put my hand squarely on Shuichi's chest, putting all my strength behind a single push that throws him away from me. Barely. Uh, ow, what are you doing? Time out! Seriously, you need to stop! What's wrong? I... you're... too fast! Huh? You're moving too fast! It's making me really uncomfortable. I just wanted to give you a quick kiss to cheer you up. I wasn't okay with being felt up and making out in public. Especially when you push me against a wall and make it so I can't say no. I... that... I'm sorry? I didn't know. I would certainly hope so. If you did know I was uncomfortable and still... Well, that would be horrible of you. Shuichi, you... You lose control way too fast, and you're p so pushy. I've been feeling like this for a while now, and I didn't know how to say it, and then you do... this. Make an empty gesture at the air, my eyes looking anywhere but at him right now. I feel ashamed. I shouldn't be feeling like this. Should I? I should be happy that my boyfriend is this into me, shouldn't I? There... There must be something wrong with me for to be feeling this way, right? You're pushy. Are you saying I've been pushing you into doing things? You're really forward and really sexual. It was okay at first when it was just an innocent touch here or there, but you've been getting more and more, I don't know, like this before I knew it. I, or even had time to think about it, we were having sex, and, and we ended up going all the way on our first time, too, without me having any time to prepare for it. You, you said that was okay. I, I know. I asked you about it after, and you told me there was nothing to worry about with it. I, I knew it was bad, but you insisted on saying it wasn't. I know, I just... I felt bad! I didn't want to hurt your feelings. You were being so hard on yourself, and I... I didn't want you to feel that bad. Especially since you just told me the day before how you were having a hard time at home, and you... You slept with me out of pity? No! Of course not! Taking that way out of context, I just... You really wanted it, and I didn't know how to say no. I'm sorry, that was my fault. Oh boy, if he doesn't admit to his fault, this is gonna be a problem. Oh, dots. Shuichi looks down at his feet, his eyes darting around, not focusing on anything in particular, a storm of thoughts and emotions flashing through them all at once. It's not just me that has a really expressive face. Shuichi takes a step in my direction and I hold my breath. He doesn't notice it and keeps walking, standing side by side with me and leaning his with his back against the wall. So, all this time, I've been making you uncomfortable? Yeah. And you didn't say anything. You have a real nasty habit of blaming yourself and punishing yourself way too harshly for the smallest things. I didn't want to watch you do that again. And... You didn't want to do it when we... Yeah. Only silence hangs between us. 
so heavy that it feels like it's pulling me down. I want to run. I want to be anywhere but here. I don't like this kind of atmosphere. I don't like standing up for myself. Not when it leaves Shuichi looking like this. He must be so mad at me. There's no way he wouldn't be upset. And yet, I wish you'd have told me. Yeah. All I wanted was for, th for things to go slower. But I thought if I managed to just grin and bear it, I'd get used to it eventually, and then I wouldn't f mind it so much. That's a terrible thing, though. I don't want my boyfriend to grin and bear it every time I try to be intimate with him. I know. I'm sorry. You... You don't have to apologize. I mean, I do wish you hadn't kept it a secret for so long. The idea that... That I forced you to... I'm at least 50% responsible for that, though. I consented when I really shouldn't have. Still... I couldn't tell at all. You're my boyfriend. You'd figure I should at least be able to tell when you're uncomfortable. Dots. I have nothing to say to that. Part of me wants to reach out and tell him he shouldn't blame himself so much, but... I won't lie, I've been thinking that same thing to myself lately. Why do I have to say something? Why can't he just notice that I'm uncomfortable and stop? I'm definitely not innocent in this. I had every opportunity to speak my mind and didn't. When you think about it, it's pretty awful of me. Well, he didn't exactly create an atmosphere that would, like, be open to your fucking feedback. Like, with the fucking, oh, it's etiquette. Yeah, I have to ask to dinner. You have to ask me to come to lunch. We have to be surprised. Like, he's so forceful about getting his way that, like, at some point, his forcefulness and your submissiveness create an atmosphere where you feel like you can't say no. Like... I don't know that you're 50% responsible in this. You definitely are somewhat to blame, but, like, he has gone out of his way to make it so that, like, you don't have the feeling that you could say no to something when he's doing stuff so fucking arbitrary as making you, making you ask him to lunch when he already came over of his own f fruition. Like... That's not a personality that reeks of, oh, we'll totally understand if you say no to what I want. Like, that's not, that's not a good harbinger of things to come. But it's pretty difficult to keep it in check. I'm not going to lie. Even now, I'm pretty sure I was holding back. Excuse me? You were holding back? Yeah. I've never really felt like this before. I've had times when I'd get a bit riled up, but that was just a mood, and it would strike me every now and again. It wasn't particularly bad or difficult to deal with, but now that we're dating, I just have a real hard time dealing with my libido. I constantly want to grab you, and... I do. Well, you can imagine the rest. I swallow a couple times, picturing a bunch of different scenarios in my mind, each one making my face redder than the last. About After about half a dozen of them, I have to shake my head violently to push them out of my mind, otherwise I'm going to end up overheating. Uh, that's flattering. I, I don't know what to say. I'll, um, I'll try my best to keep it in check. I definitely don't want to make you uncomfortable. Hell, it's a really scary thought. That I might end up pushing you away without even knowing what I did. Please don't do that to me, Cleves. If I'm doing something wrong, you have to tell me so I can fix it. Yeah. Ugh, now I feel even more guilty than I felt before. Kinda wish I hadn't said anything. But I'm also happy to have done it. I don't know how to feel right now. This date is a disaster, isn't it? Sorry. D don't apologize. I'm the one who messed up here. But seriously, Cleve, stop. I'm barely keeping it together as it is. 
Uh, okay, sorry, I'll zip it now. <sighs> Can we take a few minutes? I think I need to sit down and clear my head for a bit. Yeah, of course. If we keep going, we'll reach the bench but Without another word, Shuichi's back slides down the wall until his butt firmly plants itself on the ground. Or we can sit here. That's cool, too. You're freaking out. I'm not freaking out. Why would I be freaking out? Everything's cool. We're cool. We had a heart-to-heart. -heart. Now everything's good. Super cool. Sorry, my glasses fucked up. Coolio! Coolio. Give me a break. I'm trying. <laughs> Sorry. My head hurts. I want to go home. We sit around in silence, marinating in our own thoughts for what felt like hours, even though I'm fairly sure it wasn't more than a few minutes. Um, is it just me or is the day kind of ruined? I'm not sure. Do you want to still go on on the date or... I... I'm not too sure what to say here. Obviously, I want to spend more time with him, and it's not like I brought that up because I wanted to ruin our evening. I was really looking forward to today, and I got even more excited when I found out about what he was planning. Is it too bad that I still want to go? No, not at all. There's no way that would be bad. Really? Because you seem a bit, I don't know, out of it. That old thing was a shock. I'm not sure what to think. I'm sure once I get back home and have time to myself to really reflect on it, I'll have more to say on it. But for now, I'm trying to... not. You don't want to think about it? I don't want to let it ruin our plans. I really wanted to give you a fun day out and make you happy. Now that I know how badly I've been screwing up, I want to do it even more so. If you're still up for it, of course. I'm not going to make you do anything you don't want to. I promise. Uh, do you really have to sound so sincere? It makes me feel guilty. Which is still totally my fault, but... Yeah, I think that's okay. Good. I'm glad. Shuichi puts his hands on his knees, getting up and back to his feet with one single quick motion. Pats his butt, knocking off any dirt or pebbles that might have stuck to his clothes. I have to force my eyes away from the area. Come on, we wasted enough time. And your mom was right. Kukishibo Shobu Park, sorry, is a ways away. I don't want to get there too late and find out that there's no more boats left to rent. I nod, trying to follow suit. However, I'm quickly interrupted by a hand being waved in front of my face. When I look up, I see Shuichi, the entire front of his body dark with shadows as the sun shines brightly in the sky right behind him, offering me a hand. The sight is... nostalgic. Without hesitation, I grab onto the hand that is offered to me, being quickly pulled back to my feet in a mirror of, uh, what happened at the beginning of the game, when we were on the roof. And, um... I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Aki-kun about this. He's only just learned about us dating. I'd really rather him not have a bad impression of me as your boyfriend so soon. Oh yeah, because I was definitely going to rush to my 12-year-old little brother to complain about what a horny, pushy jerk my boyfriend is. Point made, but still, shut up. I laugh, following behind Shuichi as he turns around and walks away with a final huff. Despite the feeling of anxiety gnawing at the pit of my stone match, I feel a bit better now. Maybe it's just the calm before the storm, or maybe I really did do the right thing after all. Is it too much to hope that things go well from now on? A few hours later, as Yuichi and I move around the boat, the gentle swishing and swaying of it on the water causes a few water droplets to splash around, find another way onto my legs and thighs. The air in here is surprisingly fresh. It... <sighs> yeah, oh, I'm getting secondhand seasickness. Oh god, it feels good. It took us almost two hours to finally get here. Thanks in most part to some kind of accident in the train line that stopped the one we were in. When we finally arrived, Shuiji had to sit on the grass while we talked. Even if the mood was a bit 
off at first. The more time we spent here, the more I started to, f the better I started to feel. Once I realized it, we were, before I realized it, we were laughing and goofing off like we usually do. It was such a relief. The sunset approached, Shuichi got back to his feet, telling me we should hurry, as most of the boats seemed to have already been taken. This place is way busier than I thought it'd be. It's Sunday. It's to be expected. Sure, but the- okay, yeah, this is where he's like, he's spatial difference fucking weird. <laughs> okay, so the, yeah, at the end of the dialogue there are some differences where they're, they're joking back and forth. Where he says, I hate you, and like, fairly sure you love me, and this is the- though I, I'm, if I said that out loud, I would probably make things awkward. I'm still not quite at the point where I'm comfortable saying that back, so I really shouldn't bring it up. The sunset is really is beautiful here, though. Right? Shuichi places a hand on my knee, making me immediately tense up. Don't worry. I promise I won't try anything. Yeah, sorry, it was on reflex. You don't need to apologize. He gives a gentle tap to my knee, brushing it lightly with his thumb, but otherwise making no further move. I want you to always feel safe with me. Ah, god damn it. Would, oh shit, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, it, it's probably a scam. Let's hear it. Shalom! Hello? Hello! You want to talk to me? Hello? They hung up. <laughs> You're way too nice for your own good. Thanks. I lean against him, resting my head on his shoulder, and watching the peaceful sunset as it dyes the sky orange. In a matter of a few more minutes, this moment will be gone. The sun will have set, the sky will grow dark again. But I'm happy to be here. Hey, Cleese. Yeah? Thanks for sticking with me, despite everything. Same goes for you. You couldn't get me to leave you even if you tried. Shall I put that to the test? God, please don't. We laugh, enjoying the closeness. Even though this lake is filled with other couples watching the same sunset, it feels like this moment is just for us. I don't even care who might be looking. I'm glad I came here today. And the day after today, and every day after that, I'm excited to see where things will continue to go with the two of us. That's so nice! And markedly way better of an outcome than what we saw before. Holy hell. Shuichi Chibi, he's a hero. Good, it fucked it up, but then he didn't. Yeah, alright, so that, that was the, uh, my overdue redo of the Shuichi uh, route conclusion for now. Not the conclusion. The route's not over as far as I'm aware. Uh, I don't know when the fucking routes end in this game because that sure sounded like a fucking epilogue to me. Well, at least the setup to an epilogue to me, but I don't know. I don't want it to end. Uh, well, I want it to end eventually, but <laughs> I don't want this to turn into another extracurricular activities where every fucking day goes on forever and every route has a million days and I love the game, but good God, goes on forever. But anyway, uh, so uh, on the next update, who knows when the fuck, who the fuck, how the fuck, but eh, whatever happens, it'll be, it'll be good. I look forward to it. So if you enjoyed this game, want to play it for yourself, the link to it is in the description down below. It is free, but in development, so feel free to donate and support the game's development if you so like. Also in the description down below are links to follow me on various social media platforms or to support me through crowdfunding sources like Patreon or other stuff. Uh, if you want to see when future updates of this game come out on this channel, uh, future episodes, I should say. You want to make sure to click the subscribe button, ring the bell, so you get the notifications for future uploads. And if you don't want to wait for those, I have linked to some other stuff that I have already done that is like this in the cards up above. That all being said, everyone, I have been the Trained Unprofessional. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone! <laughs>